People have been going back and forth on the question online for the past week now, so we thought we'd look into it and verify. Some people are convinced that their phone will be toast. Others are asking if it's just a bunch of nonsense. So we reached out to the experts. We spoke with TechRx owner Pedro Ferrer and NASA astronomer Sten Odenwald. Ferrer had a very clear answer to the question. Take a listen. The answer is no. The cameras on these have very tiny holes, the aperture, uh, which is not going to allow that much sunlight in, so that's going to cause permanent damage. So that was a very quick verify. Right out of the gate, we could say that the fear of frying your phone is false. But real quick, before I continue about phones, I want to clarify. Your real camera is a totally different story because it lets in a lot more light. So without the right filter, it will literally melt the plastic. I found this video online and take a look. You could see the smoke coming out there. So definitely you might want to leave it to the professionals if you're going to use your real camera. But returning to the topic of phones, you should be aware if you're expecting your phones to be works of beauty, which will blow up your Instagram with tons of likes. Think again, according to our NASA expert. It's going to be this, this snowball in your field, you know, in your picture. And you'll say this is the eclipse, but <laughs> it's not going to look like much. All right, so if you want to shoot like a pro, there are some tips our experts gave that can get you that perfect snap. And topping the list is to use a filter. Ferrer says if you do use one of these filters, you should place it as close as you can to the camera. That will give you a better shot since an unfiltered shot is going to give you a big old blob. Have a great eclipse, everyone. Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9.